My name is Georgis. I make mobile apps for the last few years. And usually I work in a very small team. Three or, or four people. Uh, but uh, it just happened that uh, uh, I, I was working in a big company for 15 years and being uh, on the stage was not so, uh, let's say, scaring. But after five years of, of uh, taking a break, it's getting harder. So it's a bit scaring but awesome at the, st at the same time. So I'm back like in my uh, past. And uh, why I'm here, especially when I'm working in small team and there are a lot of big teams and great teams. So what I'm even doing here, I am here by my accident and I need to talk about that. So for the last nine months, I was working for my new app. Uh, coincidentally, it was approved by Apple yesterday. So. Yesterday I was cheering and, and drinking champagne and maybe not so much, much to do my practicing for the talk, but anyway. <laughs> the point is here that working for nine months, uh, it's, uh, it's enough. You know, many of you who have, have been in blog projects, you know how it is. Especially hard, it's uh, when you are the only person working on the project. Because it just happened that my teammates were, were pretty busy, so one of one of my teammates decided he, he wanted to study Argentinian tango and he applied in the university and then and go through the study. So I, I'm I'm just one single developer and another teammate uh, working as designer was pretty much occupied in his, his daily job. So I have to deal also with that part. And point is that uh, working away from others is it's pretty much different experience. And there was good times, like riding the flow. Who knows what flow, flow is? Huh? Some of you know. The flow is this beautiful feeling when you are completely engaged in your work. Like you just don't don't see how time flies. You just oh. It's already evening. And everything goes easy. It's like no effort. You are, you are not, you are not uh, trying to do something. It just happens somehow. And it's incredibly satisfying feeling. And you are satisfied not, not only with the result, but also with the process itself. So it's like awesome. And uh, there's very good third, third talk. Uh, the TED talk. Huh. Um, the the psychologist whose name is so hard to pronounce, Michali Chigent Michali. So it's very hard uh, to pronounce, but it's very easy to Google. Just, just, <laughs> just make flow TED talk. That will be the fir first first thing. 20 minutes totally worth your time. And this time when I was working with flow, that was awesome. But then there was some dark times and I was feeling like I'm hitting the wall. And I just can't move forward. And particularly it was some two, mo two months ago I was hit by one particularly nasty UI problem. I, I just can't figure out where I need and how, how to structure my navigation for s several set of screens. And you know how it happens. It's like two deaths gone and actually I tried this and that, but actually no progress. And it is not very good feeling. And so, of course, what we do in these situations, we wander, wander around. Checking some social networks and Facebook and what's, what's new. And then I found this uh, tweet from Worldcon Conference. Uh, the whole day is called for proposals. And I decided I need to submit a conference proposal because, you know, at that time it felt like a good idea. <laughs> So 
So, so I'm today here because I was hit by this wall, and I'm going to talk about how to deal with these walls. So, how to deal with program by block. So, there is some symptoms when you have hit by the block. So, excuse me for a minute, because I need to somehow manage. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is this thing I, I said. Third flow secret happiness. Oh, that that was the right words to f to find this TED talk. But the 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 browser works as well. Yeah. So, uh, what does it mean that you 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 were hit by the programmer's box? So I uh, I have several symptoms for that. The first is blank page. It's now when I just opened my favorite code editor, I'm just looking at it. And maybe I'm clicking around the project structure and th thinking maybe this or maybe that, and there is so much things to do. But I am actually not doing anything. Okay. I take another coffee and look in my stack or profile, or things like that. Second one is sorry for the language, fuck this shit. It happens during some nasty the debug uh, sessions when you're trying to understand how this thing works or usually doesn't work. And sometimes I think that my code sucks. Sometimes I think this framework sucks. Sometimes I think everything sucks. The thing is that I don't move forward. I'm stopped again. And this is wrong. It's the symptom I, I'm, I'm suffering most from, so I, I know when it's right. And I know when it's wrong, but I don't know how to go from this wrong to the right situation. And this was this particular UI navigation problem. I just can't figure out what is the right way, how to do it. So I'm, again, I'm stopped and nothing happens. What's really going on in, in these situations? So there are several things that happen. One is this very famous analysis paralysis symptom. It's like we spent a lot of time looking for the perfect solution. Like, now this library, mm, it's not so good. And maybe this, uh, again, I don't like the syntax. What about that? No. And then day is gone, you have observed some 30 GitHub projects, I didn't, didn't, didn't take any decision on any of them. So, not very good, one day spent without big effort. It just happens that we don't want to invest our time in, in bad solutions, but we don't know what the good solution is, so we don't invest time anywhere. We're just wandering around looking for the perfect solution. Another. This is like, when I'm failing, my self-confidence gets a hit. When I'm failing for two or three times in a row, that I'm feel really miserable. And then my brain just decides that it's not worth any effort anymore. So I lost the confidence in myself, and that's the reason why I can't move forward. This happens with almost any big project. In the beginning, it's awesome because the progress is so huge that every day gets new feature and you feel, oh yes, I'm really doing this. This is really going to be great. And then come times when you are just hit by many small things, and many small decisions, and you're fixing 10 bugs, but 20 more appeared in a in row. And yeah, you, you are this you're told or, or you decide that you need to redone some UI and then hundreds of changes should be done in every screen. And you're kind of lost on these details. You understand hmm, still so many work, so less time, and you just can't do anything and stare at the code editor. And this is a really nasty feeling when, when you remember how good it was when you were was moving fast and 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 steady, and 
and then you're just like, oh my god, how this even can be done? And you stop again. And the bad one, this wall or block can be a real sign of burnout, which is a real psychology problem. It can lead to diseases and, and depression, but especially when you work for too long on the same thing under a lot of stress, you just kind of gave up. Well, just whatever happens, that's not my problem. I just, I just going to, to uh, not, do, not do and do not take any effort towards that. And then happens this, um, you know. that our brains are ruling our decisions. We think that we are understand what happens here. In fact, we're not, uh, because uh, our brains decide that the effort is not worth to take, because brains decide that the result is not be great. So, and then happens this thing that we call pro procrastination which is like doing anything else except your work you have to do. <laughs> and uh, it's not so easy. When, when, when I was hit by this block, I, I a little bit spent some time investigating this, this, uh, all this stuff. And the recent research is that there's some chemical thing in the brain called dopamine. And uh, it causes uh, the behavior of seeking of things. So we, ha we, we hit by this wall. There is no progress. The, there is problem with our self-confidence. But our brain requires, I need something. Give me something. I need some. Give me some dopamine shot. And happens that dopamine is about unproductibility. So, what is unproductibility? It's certainly not fixing another bug. But checking Twitter on Facebook, it's a new thing, because you don't know what will be written here. That's why we look in our phones when there's a boring talk, because our brains are built this way. There is a better uh, chance to survive if you look for something new and something interested, instead of sitting, sitting here and, and boring to death, like uh, this is evolution that is uh, that created us, the creatures that are lucky, looking for new stimulus because it helps us to learn and evolve. <laughs> so our brains rule, our, rule us. What can we do about that? There's basically two options. When we hit by program as block, we can we can fight it, or we can walk around or run away. Uh, fighting strategies pretty easy, especially when you work in a team. You can discuss with colleagues. It just happens when you translate something in words. We already f solved something because you know this thing in our brain is very different from that thing when we are discussing with, with colleagues. And that's the reason why some of people even talk to stuff about animals that sitting on the desk, because it helps clarify the mind. Um, but I actually miss this, uh, this option, because my colleague also lives in six, uh, six hours time zone difference, so I can't talk to him when I want to. Uh, we can write a bad code, because when there is a situation that there is no good solution available, maybe we can go for the ugly one, because we are, we are developers, we can, we can fix it later. And of course, of course, I know, I have seen my own bad code from years ago, ugly, but uh, when the option is not doing anything at all, maybe that's not, not, not the worst, worst option. And trust me, I have a little bit more empathy now when I see bad code. Because 
maybe this person was really hit by by block, and that was the only option to, for for him to, to move forward. So maybe write bad code, or maybe try to fight the block with the flow. Like you know, the big wave goes around the wall. You just need to ride it. So getting back to flow, can we go back? How how surface can touch the wave? So they need to go just to get on the wave. They need some to, to 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 do some effort. And there is some options that I can do when I'm hit the ball by, by the ball and I start uh, want to to move forward. So. I can refactor a small piece of code or, or make some, some cosmetic UI change, which is not important, maybe not necessary. I can add a single test or solve an easy bug. But the point is here, start something small and ambitious. And when we do something, we get a little bit of self-confidence back. And then sometimes happens that we catch the, the wave and we round, go around around the wall and ride the wave and, and somehow the thing that was problem yesterday it's not any more problem. I already solved that. But you know flow is not answer for every situation. It's like with surfers. If they are too tired they just can't catch the wave. And if our brain is too tired, we, have, we can't get into the flow. Because uh, our brain has very limited capacity for concentrating. And we are very bad to recognizing these situations. So we think that we can do that, but our brain thinks we, we can't. And so there's a little bit disparity between what we think about ourselves, what actually happens. So, brain struck tire, what we can do about that? So, I can go walking, take run, bike, day off. Most of, of companies working in IT know that it sometimes happens that people need to take a day off without any good reason. Uh, we can sleep on the problem. Like, I will not think about this today. I will do something else and then come back tomorrow. We'll see. And sometimes it helps. You just wake up in the morning and you know how you will do that thing or maybe even before going to sleep you just understand, hmm, I know how to solve that. And then in the morning you forget it. It happens. <laughs> uh, and it's a good saying, reads good drugs per vakar, morning wiser than, than evening. And uh, yeah, it, it works. I can work on a pet project because everyone has pet project, right? I can learn something new, new language, new tool, new framework. And learning something also helps because our brains just learn some new paradigms. Remember this dopamine? Get some dopamine shot and you are back in the, back in the business. And of course, we can submit a meet or conference proposal. Sometimes works. But the point here is that taking a break is a rational choice. When our brains, brains are tired, taking a break is a very rational cho choice. And we know that there are deadlines, but still it's a best, better choice. And many great companies know about that. Or no, but to keep people motivated, engaged, and and uh, interested in, in their work, and avoid these burnout situations and hitting the wall situations, they gave some some time away working on projects. And sometimes these projects get good results, like Gmail is good result from the Google 20% program. Sometimes it's not so important. Sometimes it's it's about teamwork and getting uh, know know your colleagues. But, but there's a reason why there are such such programs. And uh, the thing is that breaks are very important because when we have long 
tasks to do, the short breaks helps keep us uh, focused. And there are many, many studies that prove that this. Um, uh, another thing that happens when we take a break, it's like our brain works in, in several modes. There is diffusion mode, and there is focused mode. And, and uh, the signals, so the, the scientists have found that the signals in the brain are when you're focused, then there's some, we use only a small part of our brain. And when we rest, then a lot of things happen in our brain. And that's the reason why sleeping on a problem works. Because we just activate another mode. And this diffusion mode is, is responsible for putting things together, like making a bigger picture. And uh, taking breaks is also very helpful for helping reevaluating our goals. In a small way, uh, I can't know how, how to fix this problem, and I take break and I understand I don't, I, I don't need to fix that problem at all, because that's not the problem. And sometimes in a big way, like, do I even want to, to proceed with that thing? Or maybe I don't want to be a mobile developer and try to do some develops instead? Who knows? Uh, the thing to take away from this talk, I think, is that our brains are animals living in our head. And it has their own needs. And we need to feed them with new information. And we need to integrate the breaks in our day daily routine in a way that helps our brain rest and do the, the job. So my wish is here, may the flow be with you. But do not forget to take breaks and try to integrate breaks in your work routine. And there is some things you can do. Like there are many techniques, like have anyone heard about Pomodoro technique? Yeah, some of you. There are many, think, many, many techniques. I, I don't want to talk about them because the people are very different and what works for one doesn't work for no another. But uh, the point is here. When your brain asks for this dopamine shot, because it's uh, get bored about this solving this particular problem. Uh, try to do thing that helps to switch off this diffusion mode. Instead of looking what's new on Twitter, what I'm doing, I'm saying to myself, I can do, I can look on Twitter if I do 10 push-ups. Maybe it doesn't work in your working environment if you have, have no place for doing push-ups, or maybe you can think about something else. And I, for Facebook, it's 20, because you know, Facebook is, So we need to choose and balance both. Like the stimulus for something new and breaks. And uh, yeah, avoid this dopamine crack that you are just forced to do. I need more, I need more, I need more. There is no exit for that. So remember about this UI problem, what, what was the reason why I submitted this proposal? So it, yesterday, the, uh, my app was approved by Apple, and the problem is still here. Because I just can't find the perfect answer. Uh, this, this, this situation can force me to take a break or work on, on something else. But uh, the point is not to allow these uh, problems to stop you from doing your, your job. So that's it. Thank you.